What's she doing? I think she's spouting euphemisms at us. Luckily, the road out of Hill Valley is still pretty rough in 1875. It's unlikely she managed to accelerate 88 miles an hour anytime soon. How are we gonna stop her? Good question. We can't risk injuring her or damaging the vehicle for fear of altering the timeline even further. Luckily, those diagnostic lights might alter itself put all over the lawyer have given me an idea. Here, take these. What are these? Flux synchronization modules. How do they work? I generally use them for maintenance purposes. We might be able to use them to sync up with the alternate Lord's diagnostic modules, thus making it possible to link both sets of time circuits and override the time destination of the alternate glory. At least that's the theory, anyway. That's a great plan, I think. Best of all, we won't need to weld the modules to the frame. We just snap them over the diagnostic lights. Wait a minute, Doc. You want me to go out there? How the heck am I supposed to do that? Good question. Let me think. Aha! A hoverboard! It saved our hides a few times before, so it seemed like the appropriate tool to bring along for the job. Sweet! You okay? It's just like riding a bike. You ready to make the jump? Ready, Doc. One, two, three, jump! Whoa! Nice war party! Out the reception on the wireless! This is great! Where'd you get these? Preferred cash on 21st century video game consoles! Now remember. All you've got to do is attach the flux-sync modules to those diagnostic lights. Will do, Doc. <laughs> All right. Nicely done. Now, aim the sink toward the receiving dish. I'll try, but it's getting a little bumpy out here. Now that it's synced. It's locked!
Don't worry, I... Mr. Fusion, should I disable it? Leave it alone. It's not a good idea. Is that one of the flux emitters? Yes. Now plug in the flux sink. I can't reach it from here. You just have to climb onto the top. Now, aim the sink toward the receiving dish. 